Today we're going to cover adding a portal in ArcGIS Monitor. You can follow along in the ArcGIS Monitor help tutorial of the same name. We'll start by selecting the portal counter type, right clicking it and selecting add. This will add a new portal to the tree and we'll need to enter a name for the portal. In my case I'm going to call it my portal 106 and this will be the label that appears uh, once you're collecting data. Next we have to enter the site URL and there's an example that we can enter and just modify it to match your host name and port number. Next we need to enter the token URL that will be used and there's examples here uh, depending on whether you're using HTTPS or HTTP. I'll just go ahead and put my token URL in. Next we need to add a credential and this is going to be the portal administrative username and password credential. So I'll go ahead and enter this in. Just enter a name for it. And then the admin username and the admin password. Please note it must be the primary site administrator that is used to authenticate. I'll click the add button and there's our portal administrator. We recommend a sample interval of 15 minutes and so we'll just go with the default and then have an option of putting a description in. I'll just put in 10.6. Then we'll click the test button and it will attempt to reach the site URL and generate a token. It will also query the portal API for high level metrics on the content that is in the portal. Here we see the test was successful and we can scroll down see the metrics that were observed and we can see that we're collecting the number of admin users, the application content, the number of users in the last 24 hours, uh, some storage information, and some information about the web content and layers. So everything looks good. We'll click Save. After 15 minutes has passed, we will log into the ArcGIS Monitor webpage and go to the Categories ArcGIS report. This is where the portal counters can be viewed. Here we can check the alerting status. We can expand that and look at individual counters and look at charts and statistics for different time periods. Thanks for watching.